The Caldor Fire caused some major problems for this year's grape harvest. Now, CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is in El Dorado County with how it could trickle down to wine lovers. Rows here, these five rows, six rows. We didn't even pick. Michael Scully takes us for a walk in his Fair Play Vineyard at Gold Mountain Winery and Lodge. We had power outages, then we couldn't water, and. So, and then you're playing catch up on trying to water. Lamenting the losses he will incur in 2021 due to the Caldor fire. About three quarters of the grapes were affected, and then the yields are down anywhere from 40, 50 percent. The wildfire brought smoke filled skies for weeks. So maybe it has something to do with the uh, quality of sunlight coming through, some tainted by the smoke or whatever, where we went from not ripe to, oh my God, they're drying out. Finding crews was also an issue. All of a sudden, everybody needed to pick at the same time, and there was a shortage of folks to come out and pick. So we had small crews, so it took us longer to pick. The yields have been down pretty much this year. Ben Parrott processes all those grapes for about a dozen vineyards in the area. The fruit gets dropped off, we weigh it and process it through the stemmer and goes into tank, ferments for anywhere from seven to you know, 14 days. It's then put into a press and squeezed to make wine. Interestingly enough, even though there are fewer grapes this year, the quality is better. You got to roll with it. Scully is banking what's in the barrel will buoy him against two bad years. Well, Not many crap. braved coronavirus restrictions to visit wineries in 2020, forcing prices higher. See, over the last 10 years, what you might be able to buy for. $25 a bottle is now $48 a bottle. He hopes the long term impact won't leave wine lovers with a sour taste. It's a passion he's poured his heart into. It's going to be harder to uh, make money, but uh, we'll see what happens. Well, Scully says some of his grapes also tested positive for smoke, which turned some buyers away. He feels fortunate, though, to have been able to market them for other uses.